एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड श्योर शॉर्ट टॉपिक फॉर द जर्नल सर्जरी दिस सब्जेक्ट यू रीड इन थर्ड ईयर ऑफ डेंटिस्ट्री एज वेल एज इन थर्ड ईयर ऑफ एमबीबीएस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द टूडे टॉपिक एस अ डॉक्टर सुलबिसानी एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट Now today's topic is the difference between the hypertrophic scar and the keloid. This difference is very very important and definitely a fine marks question will come in your theory exam. So we will learn it definitely in the tabular form it is given in your books. So we will learn it by doing the comparison between two because this will help you to make you learn quick and faster. as compared to you will do directly with the book so without wasting time let's start with the topic first of all the hypertrophic scar again as a name suggest hypertrophic scar that means it involves the hypertrophy of the mature fibroblast along with the minimal presence of the blood vessels in this condition on the other hand in case of the keloid it is totally opposite there is the proper proliferation of the immature fibroblast and along with the immature blood vessels which are present prominently in the keloid right so we begin with the comparison with the keloid and the hypertrophic scar we have to see the little key feature regarding the keloid First of all keloid is found to be most common in the black and it is least common in the cautions right second thing is it is not a true tumor but it has a tendency to reoccur after the excision also the third thing is it is found to be the most common on the sternum that means sternum is the most common site for keloid but it is quite difficult to treat the keloid over the sternum the surgery is quite difficult see the difference between keloid and hypertrophic scar hypertrophic scar does not involve any etching if it is involved it is minimal on the other hand the severe etching is present in case of keloid second in case of hypertrophic scar it does not get worse than after 6 months fine on the other hand in case of keloid it may get severely worse even after one year or even after few more years the margins are non tender in case of hypertrophic scar but the margins are tender in case of keloid it does not involve or extend up to the normal soft tissues or the normal surrounding tissues but keloid does involve when spread into the normal surrounding tissues hypertrophic scar is non vascular in nature but on the other hand keloid is vascular reddish edematous even the claw like appearance is there now if we talk about the precipitating factors then in case of the hypertrophic scar young person over sternum over joints and even the when the scar crossing the normal tissue right on the other hand the precipitating factors in case of keloid is the black women heredity or familial variation followed by ulceration infection etc talk about the complication it does not occur in case of the hypertrophic scar but it is occur in case of the keloid if we talk about the treatment also the treatment is very easy in case of the hypertrophic scar Uh, although the treatment is as such not required you can easily use the glove armlet bandage elastic bandage and later on you can do the excision right excision can be done on the other hand if we talk about the complication as well as the treatment of the keloid is quite difficult as first of all we have to give the injection of steroid which is known as canacort right followed by it will flatten the keloid then second thing we have to do we have to give the intracheloidal excision right and followed by we will do the skin grafting which has to be trial later right recurrence is very common to take care of one thing that while ex- doing the excision we does not involve the surrounding normal tissue in case of keloid 
So that's all about the main difference between the hypertrophic scar and the keloid. A very, very, very important and the most repeated question of journal surgery for your theory exam in case of a BDS student definitely and even for the MBBS student also. If you still have any query, you can drop me the mail which is shown on your screen and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram ID which is shown on your screen. If you still have any query, you can DM me there 24-7. That's all about the today's video. Thank you for watching.